Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages. My name is Coaster Child, Doncaster born, but built for theme parks. And welcome to a theme park newsroom update, where today we're going to be looking at two major refurbishments happening after the end of July at Walt Disney World Magic Kingdom theme park. Uh, we're off to Disney, we. Um, yeah, so two major rides are going to be closing on July 20th and 27th, respectively. We're going to speak about those. It's an article by Walt Disney World News today, but the official information was announced on the park's website. Uh, so we're going to speak about that right now and share my thoughts on it. So, before we get started with all the information in this video, please like the video if you loved it. Comment down below your thoughts and opinions on this. Subscribe if you are new around here. Click the notification bell so you never miss another video. Check out the social media links and the Google Forms link where you can submit your own video ideas for the channel in the description down below along with the article. And for now guys, let's have a look at exactly what's going on with the refurbishment of two major attractions closing at the end of July at Walt Disney World Magic Kingdom theme park. Let's go. Mickey Mouse, lead the way. So on the 20th of July, Buzz Lightyear's Space Ranger Spin will be closing for a brief refurbishment through to July 22nd. So this one's only a two-day one. Uh, so the attraction is scheduled to reopen on July 23rd. This is one of the many refurbishments taking place of Magic Kingdom ahead of the park's 50th anniversary. Uh, so this one's not a major one. This is just like a little uh, refurbishment taking over the couple of days. However, the big, the, the sort of bigger one is It's a Small World closing on July 27th. Uh, now this will be a, uh, for further refurbishment. Uh, they've already repainted the outside. It'll only last for three days though. The attraction will reopen on July 30th, so don't expect any major changes. As an opening day attraction at Magic Kingdom, It's a Small World has been focused for the ongoing effort to prepare for the park's 50th anniversary on the 1st of October 2021 this year. Uh, and of course, any more refurbishments from Walt Disney World News today, you can keep up to date with them on their website. And of course, the articles for those uh, stories have been linked in the description down below. And I'd really recommend you go and look at Walt Disney World News today. They provide excellent information. So there we are, ladies and gentlemen, Thrill Six of All Ages. Not a big update there, just a small update taking place, uh, looking over the couple of days' refurbishments happening to both um, Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin and It's a Small World. You know, it's a small world after all. Uh, love that song. Love the, love the ride. Love the ride. I loved it at Paris. Uh, I need to go back to Disneyland at some point. Uh, but, um, you know, yeah, yeah. So both rides are going to be closing over a couple of day period at the end of July. Uh, obviously, Space Ranger Spin uh, closed until the uh, from, from the 20th to the 22nd and reopened on the 23rd of July. It's a small world closing from the 27th up until uh, the 30th and uh, reopening then as well. So, um, you know, not, not too long refurbishment, just a couple of days. So like we said about it's a small world, don't expect, you know, major changes inside. Probably just little effects, you know, if you need to fix any effects, do it now basically. Uh, if you need to touch up a little things inside, like any headlights gone missing or whatever, um, you know, that that's the time to do it over a couple of day periods. So I think it's really clever that they're doing that, making sure the attractions are in tip top condition, uh, ready for the reopening, ready for that 50th anniversary of the park in October 1st. So uh, happy 50th anniversary to Magic Kingdom and uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, uh, this is not the end of the park. I'm sure it won't be the end of the park. They've got some brilliant stuff coming up uh, in the the next uh, few years and I'm sure we're going to get another magical 50 years to add on to the 50 we've already had. Uh, so there we go, that's a couple of the main refurbishments happening over the last over the next couple of days after closure at Magic Kingdom. Obviously like the article said, there's more refurbishments that have been taking place over Magic Kingdom over the last few months, uh, all preparing for that October 1st, all preparing for that 50th anniversary uh, event to start. So uh, if you want to keep your eyes peeled, keep your eyes peeled on the Magic Kingdom website. I've linked that in the description down below as well. Uh, so go and check out that as well. But for now, guys, please like if you've loved it. Comment down below your thoughts and opinions on the refurbishments. Subscribe if you're new around here. Click the case bell so you never miss another video. And for now, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Coast Chow. Keep living the coast life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a Disney-tastic day. Ha-ha! <laughs>